Welcome to Electro Online. Exploring this a little bit further, where now we're going to take n molecules into the same size box partitioned into n number of partitions. And n starts from 1 and goes to 2 and goes to 3 and so forth. So, an equal number of partitions to an equal number of molecules so that we end up with one molecule in each partition. So what does the number of microstates look like for each of these cases? Well, in the case where n equals 1, we have one molecule and one partition, we only have one possible way in which this can happen, and so W equals 1, the number of microstates equals 1, or that's also called the thermodynamic probability equals 1. But if you have two molecules and two partitions, and we can put one molecule in each partition, then you can see there's two possible ways in which we can do that, and therefore W equals 2, with other words, the thermodynamic probability equals 2, the number of microstates equals 2. Then when we have three molecules and three partitions in such a way that one molecule goes into each partition in the box, then we can see that there's a total of six microstates. And then if n goes to 4, four molecules, four partitions in the box, now there's 24 microstates. There's an interesting pattern here which I wanted to point out. So, here is that pattern. We have n going from 1 all the way to 7, so we end up with 7 partitions at the end. One molecule in each of the 7 partitions, what's the number of microstates? Notice the number of microstates is n times n being 1 times 1 equals 1 for the first case. For the second case, we take the 1 and bring it over here. n equals 2 goes over here. 2 times 1 equals 2. 2 microstates in the case of 2 molecules and 2 partitions. Then we bring the 2 over here, n becomes 3, 3 times 2 equals 6, 6 microstates for the case where there's 3 molecules and 3 partitions, again one molecule in each partition. Bring the 6 down here, now n equals 4, 4 times 6 is 24, so now there's 24 possible microstates as we showed. Um, in the case with four molecules and four partitions, I forgot to put the arrow down. So now we're bringing the 24 down, n equals 5, 5 times 24, or 120 microstates when there's five molecules and five partitions. Bring the 120 down, 6, n equals 6, so 6 times 120, or 720 different microstates, which we showed in the previous video. Six, six molecules in six different partitions, one molecule per partition. And finally, n equals 7, bring the 720 down. 7 times 720 are 5,040 different microstates in the case of seven molecules, seven partitions, and putting one molecule in each partition. So that has a significance, and we'll look into that later, but you can see at least the pattern of how to calculate that. Of course, you can also calculate it like this. Hmm, could you do it like this? No, you'd have to do it like this. So in this case, you end up with n factorial divided by, uh, in this case, with, since you have one molecule in each, that would be one factorial times one factorial times one factorial. That's four, that's five, that's six, and that's seven. So notice that this would be equal to seven factorial over one, or 5,040. So that's another way in which you can calculate it, but at least it's a very interesting pattern useful for later studies. So we'll keep that in mind as we continue looking into all the various ways in which we can look at macrostates and microstates in various combinations. And that is how it's done.